NASA. And I was supposed to be presenting this with Nicole Rail, who's a heliophysics um, director of flight programs at NASA, but she couldn't be here. So you just get me. So heliophysics is the study of the sun and its impact on Earth, the solar system, and on out into interstellar space. Here on Earth, the sun touches everything. And beginning October 2023, we're going to celebrate, engage, and explore the sun in an event we're calling the Heliophysics Big Year. Would you believe me if I told you that our sun is classified as an ordinary star? Just plain, average, nothing special. But yet, this ordinary star is responsible for helping to sustain all life on Earth. And no other star that we know of has that level of responsibility. And that lets me know that you can be ordinary and have an extraordinary impact. And as we think about the heliophysics big year, and we think about this image, this image was taken um, in October of last year with our Solar Dynamics Observatory. In, um, and this image went viral. And the, the dark regions that make up the eyes and the mouth are coronal holes. And in this region, this is where the solar wind gushes out into interstellar space. And how this image was received is exactly what we're trying to do with the heliophysics big year. It sparks awe, it sparks joy, it sparks excitement, and it sparks wonder. And with the heliophysics big year and how we are going to engage with the sun on all levels, we'll do the same thing. So the Heliophysics Big Year is a public engagement campaign designed to promote the study of heliophysics broadly, to make the science more accessible to everyone, and to showcase the work that NASA is doing in heliophysics. And so understanding the Sun-Earth connection is important because the Sun not only, it touches everything on Earth and all of our systems, so agriculture, economics, politics, food production, food scarcity. It impacts us physically, emotionally, and some even believe spiritually. We see it across our culture in art and in music, in fashion, in food. The sun is a unifying force that touches us all regardless of how rich or how poor we are, regardless of our gender or how we identify, regardless of our race or ethnicity. It touches everything. And the heliophysics big year is going to be a collision of the hard science of heliophysics with the softer science of the social and psychological impacts of the sun. So there are three kind of pillars to the heliophysics big year. There are our eclipse efforts, the annular eclipse, which is in October of this year, and then the total solar eclipse, which is April 8th of 2024. Our science missions, we're going to have new missions, new discoveries, mission launches, and then our citizen science efforts. And for NASA's citizen science projects, NASA scientists partner with the public. And through this uh, partnership, Tons of, part, tons of discoveries, important scientific discoveries have been made. So for the heliophysics science, we're talking about the eclipses, and the eclipses are just an awe-inspiring event, but they're more than that. We are going to have projects that actually study um, the sun during an eclipse. It's the perfect laboratory environment. And then we're going to have Parker Solar Probe making its closest approach to the sun on December 24th, 2024, which is going to usher in what scientists predict is solar max in 2025. And so the sun has cycles. Every 11 years, it goes through a, a pattern of relatively calm to more active and stormy. And during the calm periods, we call that solar minimum, and the more active stormy periods are uh, solar maximum. And in December of 2025, 
in December of 20, in 2025, we're going to be entering that stormy um, active period. And understanding the sun cycles and its activity cycles is important because during this high activity period, we see increases in space weather events such as solar flares and CMEs and eruptions. And those things impact us here on Earth. They interrupt our GPS signals. They are power grids. They endanger our astronauts and our spacecraft. So understanding that is very important. So NASA has a fleet of strategically placed satellites continuously studying the sun. So from Parker Solar Probe, which entered the solar atmosphere in 2021, or touched the sun, as we like to say, to Voyager, the Voyager 2 spacecrafts, which are the furthest human-made objects in space, to a host of other uh, satellites and spacecraft that study Earth's atmosphere and um, all the regions of our solar system. And currently we have 19 operating missions with 26 spacecraft, 13 under development, and one under study. So the solar eclipses, like I said before, we have the annular eclipse or the ring of fire in October of 2023, followed six months later by the total eclipse in 2024. And the total eclipse in 2024 is special because this is the last one we're going to see in the continental United States until 2045. And so I invite you guys back tomorrow at 2.10 Eastern time, where Dr. Kelly Cork is going to be giving a talk about the eclipses and explain all of NASA's events and activities during that time. So for a great way to get involved in the heliophysics big year is citizen science. And the concept of a big year is actually a citizen science um, concept, particularly birding. So during a big year, birders will attempt to see as many species of birds as they can during that time. And we're asking you to do the same thing, just with the sun. And we have some really great um, citizen science projects such as Aurorasaurus for those that love to chase Aurorus or Spritacular, which is kind of new. And those are for people not just trying to, to capture the elusive phenomenon of sprites, but actually not just chase them, but actually capture them on film, which is very hard to do. And then we have a new program that's coming on that we're really excited about. It's called HARP. And HARP is different. It's sonification of the sun. So it uses sound as another way to analyze solar data. And so citizen science is a great way for folks to partner with not just NASA scientists, but scientists all over the world. And you don't have to have a science degree to participate in a citizen science project. And that's the heliophysics big year, people. So if you have questions about our events or activities that are going to be happening, we're going to have a theme uh, every single month. We're calling it a baker's dozen year because it's more than 12 months. So it's a little bit more than that. Visit our website and then follow us on NASA Sun um, on Twitter and NASA Sun Science on Facebook for, for more information. Thank you.